Good day, Three Mugs here. I wanted to take a look at the Bolin on a Bite. And this is another variation on the general Bolin theme, but this one results in two separate loops of equal size. So there are a lot of uses for this versatile knot. Uh, we like to use it in rigging, for instance, when we have a pull line and we have a couple people pulling. You can throw the bowline on a bite onto the line and then each person has their own loop that they can use to pull with. We also use it if we are going to incorporate, uh, let's say, a truck or a skid steer into a pulling situation. So obviously there are a lot of uh, potential issues whenever you mix vehicles and ropes, but uh, if you know what you're doing, the bowline on a bite is an excellent attachment knot to use in this case. Um, you can you can put both of the loops either onto a tow hook or attached using a, a clevis shackle or you can put them onto a pintle hitch for instance. And in addition to rigging the bowline on a bite can also form a very uncomfortable emergency harness by putting one leg through each of the loops. So let's take a look at how we tie the bowline on a bite. So the entire thing is tied on the bite, which means it can be tied midline. It can also be tied in the end of a line by just forming a large bite there. So I'm going to start with a large bite here. And like a bowline, I'm just going to flip it up. Now this can also be tied using the overhand flip method, but I'm just going to show it using the old school flip a loop up. I'm going to take the end of the bite up through and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and pass it all the way around the entire thing and now what I'm going to do you have to be careful how you dress the bowl on a bite I'm going to take both of these strands and I'm going to pull equally because my goal in forming this is to get two loops of equal size so what frequently happens you see there the one loop here is a little bit larger than the other one so all you need to do before you use this you want to equalize the size of both of these loops all you need to do for that is this section here which comes up and around and back down this section joins both of these loops together so you just take the one that's larger you can push some slack up into it and then you can pull that slack down on the other side and you can use that to equalize the size of both of those loops. Um, another thing that I really like to do if I'm going to be using the bowline on a bite in a really hard pull situation, what I like to do before using it is I will just take a stick, a good stout stick, and I will put it through this section here and then tighten it down. And that just keeps it from getting too tight and allows you to always be able to easily untie it. So, to untie the bowl on a bite, all you need to do is crack it. You're going to pull this up, and then you're going to pass it all the way back around, and then you're going to pull the bite out. All right, so let's look at it one more time. So, I'm starting with a great big bite here. I'm going to flip it up, then I'm going to take the end of the bite up through, and then I'm going to pass it around the entire thing, and then I'm going to pull both of these strands equally, and tighten it up, and try and get something that has two equal size loops. So that is the Bolin on a Bite.